Welcome back. This week we continue our look into some Major League Baseball teams in pending seasons. The Oakland Athletics had quite the offseason, but on February 12th, they made headlines when they signed outfielder Rant Manny Ramirez to a minor league contract. Ramirez is currently serving a 50-game suspension after testing positive for performance-enhancing drugs. If Ramirez does come up to the majors this season, will he have a positive impact on the team? As crazy as it sounds after what he's done the past two or three seasons, I think Manny's going to be nothing but a positive influence for Oakland this year. This is a guy who's a surefire Hall of Famer, and he's at the tail end of his career. He really doesn't have anything to gain by, by acting out. Like when he was with the Red Sox, he would have his occasional disagreements with management and things like that. But I think he's, he's got to serve his 50-game suspension. But after he does that, he'll come up in late May, join the team. I think he'll be a, a, a positive player for the team. His press conference, he seemed genuine about helping others and seemed like a changed guy. This is the best thing that happened to the Oakland days since Moneyball. I mean, Manny Ramirez is going to be someone who's going to, he's going to put a few people in the seats, but I think he's going to bring a nice veteran you know, feeling mm -hmm. for the clubhouse. Yeah, he, seemed, he just seemed different. You know, a couple years ago when he was with the Dodgers, he was in this happy-go-lucky mood. I think mm -hmm. he's got that back again. I hope so. The Texas Rangers had an exciting offseason, signing be Japanese baseball star Yu Darvish to a $60 million contract right at the January deadline. At 25, Darvish is considered to be the best pitcher in Japanese professional baseball. Will we see an explosive Major League debut from Darvish? Well, I mean, I hope we see an explosive <laughs> Major League performance because if you saw the numbers that they paid for him, I mean, they spent, what was it, $111.7 million yes. just to talk and negotiate and mm -hmm. figure out his contract. I mean, this kid better come out throwing as many strikeouts as he did. What was it, 276 in Japan? Mm -hmm. Well, he better come throwing fire on that ball for all that money. Absolutely. I think he will be a little bit better off than Dice K was because I think he has a better overall record. He's 93 and 38, had a sub two ERA in six years with the Nippon Ham Fighters, which is also one of the uh, one of the worst team names I've ever heard. But still, <laughs> he's averaged over 200 innings pitched per year. He seems like a very durable guy. I think in that sense, he's going to come over and not he's, overwork his arm well, like he's Dice different. K did. He's different than Dice K. You Darvish is more of like a power pitcher. He's 6'5", 220 pounds. Dice K is barely six feet. And I was in Japan a few years ago to take in a few baseball games, and he's a big deal over there. He's a really good player. I think he's going to be as advertised for the Rangers. Yeah, I think I agree more. Well, the Los Angeles Dodgers have had some troubles this past season, mainly with the team filing for bankruptcy protection in June and being sold back in November. With all this commotion surrounding the team's future, what effect will this have on the Dodgers season? I don't think it'll have that much effect because if you think about the people coming back at pitching, you got C.Y. Young, and he was quite the... You know, good pitcher mm -hmm. last year. And then you have Clayton Kershaw, who was nearly the MVP last year. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw had a great year. And then you, they had an overall 3.41 ERA, which mm -hmm. is – it was the third best in the National mm -hmm. League. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they have a solid team. And I don't think the off-the-court problem or off-the-field yeah. problems are really going to affect how the team as, plays. As long as people are getting paid, I don't think it's going to be a problem. <laughs> as, you know, as long as they don't go completely bankrupt. Last year was a disaster for the Dodgers with the – with the off the field problems with who's going to own the team, what's going to happen with Frank McCourt. But the fact is the LA needs a lot more talent. They, they have some very good pitchers and they have a franchise guy in Matt Kemp who they just signed to an eight year contract extension, but they need better talent all around. And until that happens, if you don't get talent in there, it doesn't matter what's going on off the field. But talent comes with money. That's true. Exactly. <laughs> In the offseason, the Detroit Tigers picked up a star first baseman, Prince Fielder, who spent the last six seasons with the Milwaukee Brewers and announced that the designated hitter, Victor Martinez, would have surgery to fix his torn ACL and could miss the entire season. What do you think the addition of Fielder and the loss of Martinez could do for the team this season? Well, losing Victor Martinez was a crushing blow. This guy was, this is as big of a clubhouse guy as there is in Major League Baseball. He's a huge veteran pres presence and also, not to mention, a very good hitter. He's a 300 hitter every single year. Losing him hurts, um, but they also have a very good catcher in Alex Avila that had, there was an all-star last year. But signing Prince Fielder is huge for Detroit. They, they had a good lineup to to start with, but now adding on him, that's one of the elite lineups in the game, and, and they have a very good pitching staff. The Tigers can have a really good run this year. I think losing Victor Martinez was sort of a blessing in disguise for the Detroit Tigers. I know someone getting hurt isn't the best thing, mm -hmm. 
But when you pay $200 million for one of the best sluggers in the game, I think it sort of works out for the Tigers. And also, Fielder's going to bolster that offense. This team scored the, the fourth most runs in the major leagues. You still got guys like Delman Young, Austin Jackson, Alex Vila, like you mentioned, and uh, Johnny Peralta are going to all have big years because of Prince Fielder is in that lineup. He's a I'll, scary bat. I'll be surprised if they don't win the AL Central. Mm -hmm. Well, when we come back, we'll give you our take on the best names, best mains in the sports world. You won't want to miss this.